Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to look at the cloner tool. A new tool in ArtRage 4 and this is it here, cloner. So let's click that and get started. The cloner can replicate paint and a photograph from its source at the cursor and the clone sources, uh, I'll show you what that is. I'll blend and it just goes right over and just completely replaces it. Also you have control on the size, so here's uh, the hardness and thickness. Uh, here's the hardness of it, um, so you control that here. You have a hard edge, so basically, now let me show you how to clone so if you want to clone something, then all you do is hold down Option on the Mac and Alt on Windows, and you select your clone point. It could be anywhere. So I'll just select here. So now that's my clone point. And now as I start, just immediately start. So you see now that's a soft edge. Let's see what it looks like with a hard edge. So basically it's just the edge as it goes along because even with the soft edge I still eventually get a nice opaque image if I keep going with it. Okay, also I could change the opacity. And change the pressure. Now from that source, uh, let me get clear this uh, here. Now even though I have this at this, so I'll put the opacity back at 100. So I have my source here, but what happens is that I can just keep going along and get everything down. So it's still, so this is parallel to the source. So anywhere I'm at, it just starts starts there. And once I take my stylus off the pad, off the tablet, it goes back to where the, the original point source is. So wherever it is, that's where it starts. Okay, but if I want to change that, I can do relative offset, check that, and let me clear this again. So now I'll choose that, and now I can release the stylus from the tablet, and then wherever I put it, it stays in per parallel relationship uh, to that. So that's what happens when I have relative offset checked. Now let's have auto flow checked. Let's uncheck that and see what happens here. So really the difference is it should work like an airbrush, but it doesn't seem to do because if I just hold down here with an airbrush, ah yes, here it goes. So it just kind of flows out. All right, so here's auto flow in action. So I'm just holding it down at one place and it just spreads like an airbrush. Okay, so that's what auto flow does. So let me clear this layer. Now I have current layer only. It's unchecked and the layer that I'm on has nothing on it. And you can see that what I've been using is on different layers. So if I choose current layer only, the other two options disappear because they're connected and nothing happens because I'm not on that layer because nothing's there. So if I move to this layer, then I got something going on. But if I go over here, nothing, even though relative is checked, it doesn't pick that up because it's on another layer. Get rid of this. Go back to my layer. Go back to the cloner tool. And now let's check this again. So now um, this has include this has includes current layer and this has include canvas color. So let's see what happens here. Because the canvas color is white. So we need to see what's going on. So I have a photo here. Now let's see if it does actually pick up. So actually white is part of this image while the rest 
well, well these are, are transparent in the background so let's choose uh, this is one of my characters just draw your scout and so yes it is picking up some it is ask is not picking up the canvas colors picking up this background image so whatever is behind it so this is misnamed it's not really picking up the canvas colors really picking up whatever's in the background behind the image now let me see if I and check include current layer what happens nope still picks up the background image okay so it's not really current layer it's not really the, the include color canvas that's done it's really what's ever in the background okay so I see it's still picking up the background even though I've unchecked include canvas color So now that means that if I don't if I don't have anything in the background on the layer, let me delete, clear this. Oops, I could just clear it. So let's say I just have a fill. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so let's just say I have a fill. And now I want to use my cloner. And let me make sure I have uh So I have include canvas colors deselected, so this should not include the canvas color. So now I get my image without any background and without any canvas color. Okay, like I said here, white is part of the image, so that's not really part of the, the background. Now if I want to include canvas color, oops, I will check that. Uh, let me. Uh, I got the wrong. It's, it's picking up here. So let me redo that. Okay. So now the canvas color is being selected. This one was cloning that for some reason because it, it was moving parallel. Okay. Yeah. So here you see the the cursor over there. So it's picking up the canvas color. So if I deselect, now it does it. Okay, so you have to be careful where your source is when you have um, relative offset. Because no matter how I move it, it's moving parallel at a parallel distance from where I started. So if I just reset this again and start here, it'll always be that same distance. So that's what the relative offset is. Okay, and let me clear this layer. And now let me show you something else you could do when you don't have relative offset selected. So if I have my total object key, select the source here. And I release the stylus, it just starts drawing. So it will draw right on top of whatever I have selected. Okay. So that is uh, something else you can do with uh, relative offset deselected. Okay, let me clear this layer. And now let's go to this car that I had previously had. And let me show you how, how to use this in action here. Okay, so let's say I want to remove this window. So what I would do is I'm going to make sure um, relative offset is selected and everything else is fine so now when I I'll pick a point over here as my clone source and then I will just start adding some brickwork and these bricks are a little darker so I want to uh, 
get bricks over here so it doesn't look too obvious. And voila. Now if I really want to get it, I'm, you can kind of see where that used to be. So if I really want to get it, I would probably get in closer and, and do some sort of the same coloration. But basically, if you didn't know that I had done this, you probably wouldn't get a tell it was there. Okay, so that is how you can use it in action. All right, thank you for stopping by uh, for this tutorial on the cloner tool. Remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Share the knowledge. And remember, go out and just create.